This video is going to show you how to replace a broken screen on a Lenovo G560 series laptop. First I'm going to hold down the power button to shut the laptop down. Next I'm going to take out the battery just to protect the laptop from any accidental static discharge. One switch here and here and the battery should slide right out. Next we need to remove the rubber bumpers covering the screws. There are six total, four along the top and one in each bottom corner. Now we can remove the six screws. Now we need to separate the front bezel from the back of the screen. The easiest way to do this is to take a razor blade and slide it in between the seam between the two pieces. Just be careful not to scratch the plastic or cut yourself. Once you have enough of a gap you can get your fingernail into, slowly work around the laptop applying light pressure. You'll hear a pop as the clips release their grip. For the bottom, just run your finger along between the bezel and the screen and it should pop away. Now there are two more screws holding the back cover to the hinge. Once the back is loose, go ahead and fold it away. It'll be a bit tight because of the cables that run between the two. Be sure not to damage them. Next is to disconnect the video signal cable. This will probably be the most difficult part as it is glued to the back of the screen. If you can lift a corner of the tape, just slowly start to peel away and it will eventually come loose. It is also glued underneath the connector just be very careful not to damage the cable. Next is four screws on each side holding the screen to the mounting bracket. And there's the broken screen removed. He 
here is the new replacement screen. This is from LaptopScreen.com. They had the best price on this screen I could find, and their standard shipping option got it to me in only two days, and that is from their Seattle, Washington Shipping Center all the way to here in Orlando, Florida. It's very good service. Now to install this screen, we're just going to reverse the process to remove it. Before you go any further, don't forget to reconnect the video signal cable. Before I seal it up, I'm going to add a piece of tape here to replace the one we peeled off earlier just to make sure the connector stays nice and connected. Now replace the two screws holding the back cover to the hinge plate. Now we can pop the front bezel back into place. This will be the easiest if you lean the screen all the way back. Replace the six screws holding the front bezel to the back cover. And finally, replace the bumpers to cover the screws. They should still have enough sticky on them to hold fine. If not, you can always just add a small dab of glue. And that's it. Thanks for watching.